بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ لیٹس ڈسکس این ادر نیو ٹاپک آف دا چیپٹر لیکوڈس دیٹ از دا سرفیس ٹینشن آف لیکوڈس سرفیس ٹینشن is a very important concept in the study of the liquids suppose that this one is a liquid in the container there is a molecule in the interior of the liquid this molecule will experience the cohesive forces in all directions there will be molecules on the right on the left below above so the net cohesive force on this molecule that will be zero all the cohesive forces will be counterbalanced but if a molecule is present on the surface of the liquid now this molecule is attracted towards left and towards right so these two cohesive forces are counterbalanced but the inward attractive force or inward cohesive force that is not counterbalanced by any upward force because there is no molecule on the top of this molecule so this molecule will experience a net inward force and this net inward force is the reason of the surface tension of this liquid because it i want to say that surface tension is actually due to unbalanced attractive forces on the surface of the liquid that a molecule experiences on the surface of the liquid now how, how can we define the surface tension then surface tension is actually force acting at right angle on equivalent length of surface of a liquid it simply means that surface tension is actually the force per unit length so from here from this definition we can draw the units of the surface tension the unit of force is newton in system international and length is meter so the first unit will be newton per meter now you can see that this molecule is actually being attracted towards the bulk of the liquid so the liquid tries to attract all the molecules on the on the surface to its bulk portion mean the molecules on the surface of the liquid they are experiencing instability and if they want to become stable they will have to move into the bulk of the liquid so the greater the number of molecules on the surface of the liquid they will be experiencing greater inward pull and this will make the surface highly stable that's why every liquid tries to keep the minimum number of molecules on its surface so that the maximum stability can be achieved it means that every liquid tries to keep the minimum number of molecules on the surface or i can say every liquid tries to keep its surface area minimum in order to get the maximum stability so if we in want to increase the surface area of the liquid then we will have to do some work and this gives us the second definition of the surface tension according to which surface tension is actually the energy required to increase surface area of liquid to 1 meter square so from this we can draw the second units of the surface tension 
it is energy per unit area the units of energy are joule and that of area of meter square so the second unit of the surface tension is joule per meter square and this unit it is derived from the second definition of the surface tension <coughs> now what are the what is the symbol of the surface tension the surface tension is usually represented with a single it is usually represented with the symbol sigma in the books when the rain falls why the rain droplets are spherical in nature rain droplets are spherical now the question arises why because a sphere has minimum surface area or you can say surface area to volume ratio and when the droplet will be in spherical form it will be having minimum surface area so the minimum number of molecules will be present at the surface and it will be maximum stable that's why whenever the rain falls the rain droplets are spherical because it gives a minimum surface tension and maximum stability now question comes what are the factors that affect the surface tension of a liquid so surface tension of a liquid basically depends on two factors surface tension is directly proportional to intermolecular forces stronger the intermolecular forces more inward pull this molecule will be experiencing and surface tension will be increased and secondly surface tension is inversely proportional to temperature actually when you increase the temperature of the liquid it weakens the intermolecular forces and when the intermolecular forces are weakened the surface tension decreases <clears throat> now let us discuss that what is the importance of this concept of surface tension actually because of this surface tension the surface of the liquid acts as a thin membrane it behaves like a thin membrane which is stretched stretched across and the insects like you can say water spider that can easily walk in it no definitely you will be thinking that walking of the water spider has no concern with our life if the water spider is walking or even it is having a cat walk on the surface of the water will it make any difference to our life why it is important to us sir it is not important to your individual life but it is very important to your ecosystem because <clears throat> suppose that that insect is walking on alcohol that will be drowned because alcohol has weaker forces intermolecular forces as compared to water so its surface tension is also less so if the surface tension of water will not be very large every small particle will be drowned into it things will stop floating on it the ecosystem will be disturbed so to your individual life it may not be very much important but to the whole ecosystem it is very important actually no secondly because of this surface tension the rain droplets are also spherical now the rain droplets are spherical then again it is not even if they are cubic in shape then what will be the effect on our lives no it will help in the surface tension helps in the formation of clouds and evaporation of water as well and the rain droplets they fall with the maximum stability so that also affects the whole ecosystem surface tension might not be important to your individual lives but to the whole ecosystem it is really very important now let us come to the next point that what are the surfactants it is a small concept which is related to the surface tension that what is meant by the surfactants surfactants are actually those substances that decrease the surface tension between two liquids and if you are a student of the biology you have studied the uh, bile bile is also a surfactant it is an emulsifier it makes the emulsion of the fat components of your food 
into the water so that the lipases can easily act on it and even the one of the best example of the surfactant that you use at your homes are the detergents so they decrease the surface tension of the water and they help in the cleansing action of the water so this was the topic of the surface tension and inshallah next time we will come up with some new lecture till then allah peace